everyone, Alexandra here again. Today we are going over Samsama to see if it's really that good and different from other task management tools. Essentially, it's a way of planning your daily routine and it's supposed to just bring more clarity into your daily life. Now, to get started, we are going to look over the tasks we finished Friday in this case, so the previous workday. And I'm just going to add in some tasks here and you can add whatever you worked on and you can kind of estimate how long those tasks took you you can also add a, a completion date or if you click on this green button you can mark it as incomplete or complete again you can always just attach subtasks to these files from here set a due date and add some extra options like repeating the tasks, copying the same task. Maybe you have something similar like an editorial calendar for a client and have a set of subtasks that repeat. So you can just duplicate that. Or a feature I like and you won't find with as many other task management tools is the align with objective. Now, after adding what I worked on, now ideally you want to fill in the entire eight hours here, and this will give you an idea of how productive you were as well. After this, we are moving towards our tasks for today. So I am already planning my day. Now, as you can see, you have some integrations with tools you might already be using, like Todoist, Gmail, or your calendar. So you can import all of that from here or you can manually add some tasks. Like in my case, I'm going to work on YouTube videos and I am planning roughly five hours, let's say. I can also change the channel it's assigned to for something like personal projects. And here you can just select the context. Again, you have to create it. I'm going to add a personal context, personal project. I can add it as a private channel, but since it's mine, the option is not available. I can also set it as the default channel, or I can even connect it to Slack. And this is one of the best features, if you ask me, because you can have some SAMA directly in Slack. Just change the color, click on create, and you have a new channel which I'm going to select. And now when you go back to your task planning, you can select the channel from here so that you will get the reminder in that specific channel. Now from here, you can plan your entire day. So this is perfect for anyone who likes to start the day with listing out all of the objectives they have. And then you can even plan the following days. I'm just adding some mock tasks in here. Then you're going to have one brief look at the day. Now, the reason you get to plan your following days is to actually see if there's something you might be able to do today that you've planned for tomorrow or if you have too much work for today. Then you're going to be prompted to add in your obstacles for today and then you can just get started or post to Slack. And this is where you get the dashboard that really gives you an idea of what you have to work on. Now, this looks like a similar mix of Google Calendar, email, a Kanban board. You can also work with a calendar view if you prefer that. I like the task view. If you want to move tasks from one day to another, it really works like a Kanban board, so you can just drag and drop. You also notice when you create your account that you have a setup Sansama list of tasks. And really, some of the basic things you need to do are add tasks, add integrations, like I mentioned, the Slack one, create a private channel, and use the command bar to enter focus mode. Now, to enter focus mode, you can also click on this play button here. And what this does is that once you click on it, it starts tracking your time. So Sunsema does work as a time tracker as well. And you can always go and change the planned time you have. And you can also start adding manual time from here and then continue tracking your time from there. So in case you forget to start your tracker, you can always come in and kind of estimate how much time you've spent so far and then start 
the tracker again. Now, this is the focus mode because what it does is you can just leave it this way and work on your other tasks in a different browser, on your computer, whatever. When you want to take a break, just go at the top here to break and the timer for the break will start. You can always just stop it as well. To close and go back to your tasks, click on close and you will be taken back to where you left. The same feature for focus breaks is available here if you expand the task. Again, the other features for task management are here at the top or if you click on the three dots. Now, Sunsema does resemble Slack a bit because you have your channels on the left side here, but the channels aren't really for team communication like you would be used to in Slack. Instead, they are, let's say, channels for the Kanban board. Now, remember, you also have here at the top some general settings. What's interesting is the weekly review option, which kind of gives you an idea of how much time you spend on certain tasks. If you spend more time on a task than usual, if the tasks you worked on align with your long-term objectives. So for example, if you spend more time on checking your email instead of working on a sales account that indicates you haven't properly aligned your objectives so far. And finally, on the right side, you can always just close this if you want more focus just on the tasks at hand. But I want us to focus on the integrations and extra options you have. So you have your obvious Google Calendar, Gmail, Todoist. Then you have your weekly objectives, which you can also note in here. It's fun to keep them in here so you can kind of have something to motivate you at all times. Then you have your backlog, and this is where you can just add tasks you want to do. Maybe you want to schedule a client meeting or whatever, you just add it in here, and then when you're ready to work on it, or when you have nothing else to do over the next three days, you can just pull the task from here onto your um, Kanban board slash calendar. Then you also have your archive, which, which you can automate, so you can opt for the auto archive feature. And what this will do is if you have a task that maybe you've been working on for 10 days, you can automatically have the system roll it out here because it means you might have forgotten to archive it or maybe it just took too long and you haven't worked on it. It depends on the situation. And you can always just bring any task in here. Then you have your search, which will help you just search for a task like a meeting. And this is perfect if you have a lot of tasks on your calendar, which honestly you shouldn't. You should just have as many as you're capable of doing within the eight hour time frame. Honestly, I would recommend no more than two, three big tasks. Finally, you have some updates here on the bold related to Sunsama. And you can always go on and just add extra integrations. I'm just leaving my weekly objectives again. Remember, you can always reach out to the team directly from the app as well. Overall, the tool is super simple to use. I do think it might be a bit too simple to use, as in there's not that many complex features if you want to use it with your team, but if you are a freelancer, a consultant, or you're just getting started with your startup and have up to 10 people on your team, this will work. Now, if you want to see more honest reviews like this, check out my YouTube account. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you super soon. Have a great day ahead.